Hi guys, hello and welcome to Inceptor Gaming. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe, give me a like, and drop a note in the comments about the type of games, RTS or simulation that you like to play. Today, we'll be continuing on with Wargame, European Escalation. This is part 3 and the level is Counter-Strike. Right then, so today's uh, level did take me over an hour to complete. I have speeded it up with the power of video editing for you in places. Um, so without further ado, uh, let's get into the level here. The NBA's momentum is broken and its offensive slowed. The East German government vainly urges the USSR to intervene. Taking advantage of the enemy's weakened state, the Anglo-German forces counterattack. Intelligence services have located an East German regimental headquarters in our vicinity. If we destroy it, that would neutralize the enemy's ability to react and grant us control of the highway. Still, according to intelligence, two secondary headquarters are close by. The first is in Alpha Sector, the second in Bravo. Once those are neutralized, their regimental headquarters would have to call in reinforcements from further away, which means they might not get there in time. Okay then, so uh, Charlie over there is our primary objective, although we have two secondaries and they will yield more stars if we get those as well, so I'm going to make that a, a, my actual priority to take those first. I'm splitting my two Gazelle helicopters apart just because I don't need them both together. Uh, they have excellent uh, view range, they're probably one of the best uh, recon platforms in the game. Let's click off these annoying tooltips. Right. They're not really designed for heavy combat, but uh, they do have some rockets which can be useful. As you see, uh, one of my gazelles there is now uh, putting some rockets down range on the T-55s in the forest. Uh, I'm going to bring up some tanks as well, just to protect my front. I'm going to use chieftains uh, for the defensive positioning, just because they are a bit tougher and a bit more powerful than uh, anything else on this level. Okay, I put six there, I'm going to get two more, so I'm going to bring up eight. The only trouble though with the British tanks, they do tend to be a bit slower than all the other tanks in the game, despite the fact they are better armed and, and armoured. The trouble is as well though, is there is less of them. So the, technically they are the best tanks, but there's also less of them available in the game anyway, so you've got to be a bit more sparing with them. The German tanks, the Leopards, are a lot faster and they're more numerous, so for sending into out oh, to rushes and ambushes, they're probably a bit better to use for that. I've now moved up some of my Panzer Grenadiers. They're hiding in the bush there. Going to finish off these uh, T-55s. He says <laughs> they keep missing, but they will get there eventually. Hopefully, maybe the next one will do the job. No, no, they're not having much luck with their accuracy. Okay, yeah, so anytime now my uh, Panzer Grenadiers in the bush there should take care of this remaining T-55. There we go. And now, any moment, uh, the video editing will kick in and the game is going to speed up. Just because it did take me quite a while. Yeah, now on this unit, uh, this level, the enemy does use a lot of helicopters. So I'm going to bring in some flat Panzers and anti-aircraft infantry. Going to hide them in some of the forests around the area. I'm also going to move up some uh, tanks as well because there'll be a few tank rushes coming for me. I've also got to keep my uh, logistics helicopters moving around, get them resupplied every so often. Can put some more chieftains, uh, chieftain Mark Fives in that hedgerow over there. Here's our first enemy contact. A couple of enemy helicopters coming. A couple of hind Mi-24s. But luckily, I've got it covered. Uh, flat Panzers have taken care of them. So there's my first kills on this level. Always got to remember to unload your troops from the vehicles you're arriving. Okay, there's some more anti-air infantry on the way. Okay, enemy sending some tanks on the left flank. I'm going to bring up some more leopard tanks myself. Uh, 
Okay, my gazelle is out of ammunition, but my uh, Panzer Grenadiers are engaging the tanks on the left flank. I've also got anti-air ready for the helicopter in the central part of the map. Also got to bring up some recon units as well. Uh, so I can bring up tanks, but their general optics are quite poor. So it's always good to bring up a recon unit or two with them as well. Just improves their view distance. And there we go, we've got some uh, enemy tanks beaten back on the right flank. So I am going to bring up some striker vehicles to back up my units in the forest on the right flank. If I position them near the operating base, the supply yard, they'll get rearmed and rearmed as and when necessary. I've got my tanks and get on the left flank there going for the enemy vehicle on the left flank. Alright, my tanks and uh, making short work of their enemy tanks. Yeah, you do need to use a lot of recon units in this game to be fair and also logistics is a massive part of the game as well so you need plenty of logistics supply uh, personally I like to use the helicopters myself the Chinooks they, uh, they're easy and quick to move around the battlefield do supply your units very quickly and easily got more helicopters coming down from the north there so, but I've got anti-air units in the bushes in the forests even there we go Okay, green jackets are great recon infantry. A bit like with the tanks, if you're going to send an infantry somewhere, bring in a recon infantry as well as your heavy infantry you're going to use. Also, in this uh, instance, I'm going to use my recon infantry, green jackets, parachute regiment, and also panzer grenadiers, because the panzer, panzer grenadiers have amazingly long range with their anti-tank weapons. Whereas the paratroopers only have 66mm uh, law launchers, which have a relatively short range. So I'm going to move my collective infantry now into that bit of forest, just on the left-hand side. Okay, their recon units are coming towards me, but they're being destroyed by my leopards hiding in the bush. Oh, my leopards, leopards taking some damage though, because they've got some infantry hiding as well. So I need to move my Chinook to resupply my tanks before they do a runner. There we go, there's my... Uh, Parachute Regiment and uh, Panzer Grenadiers taking out the remaining tanks on the left hand side there. So there's those gone. Okay, that uh, Chinook is now empty, so I'm going to have to resupply that one shortly. Okay, yeah, I forgot to bring up the Panzer Grenadiers for the left flank earlier, so I'm doing that now. So it literally was just powers taking out those uh, remaining tanks. Okay, I've had to expose my uh, flak panzer on the right hand, flank, right -hand side there because uh, I wanted to destroy the helicopter before it took out my striker units. There we go, there's a helicopter gone. And more tanks coming from the right flank as well, so I need to work on those. They're using T-55s, so okay, I should take them out quite quickly and easily. Right, that's being handled. Uh, I've also got a vehicle on the left flank as well. So as you can tell, it's quite a busy level to be fair. Lots going on from both sides at the same time currently. Going to get my Chinook to uh, resupply those. Pushing my infantry there forward now. So that's my green jackets, my powers, and also some Panzer Grenadiers to work collectively together. There we go. Enemy troops, uh, the faggot that it says there, that is basically their weapon, their anti tank missile. Uh, that's what the uh, East Germans and Soviets used to use. So I'm going to whack those guys with my infantry. I'm going to move my chunk forward first as well. I'm sending my leopards there to take out their APC and also to back up the infantry. Okay, so their inf enemy infantry is now gone. <clears throat> Going to push my tanks a little bit further forward. Okay, there's the right flank as well. That's being taken care of. 
All right, my leopards uh, have taken some damage as well, so they're going to rearm repair. Also, now I'm going to back up my leopards with um, Rico and Unit just to improve readers and also Grenadiers as well. You know, on this level, the uh, the a the enemy AI does tend to do the uh, the typical Soviet uh, tank rush doctrine, so it can be quite effective. That's why you need a combination of units, really, because uh, the Soviets do have an awful lot more tanks than we have. Okay, they've got some UA UAZs in the forest there with um, anti-tank rifles, so take those out. Going to push my infantry now into Alpha Sector. Yeah, to be successful on this particular game, I found so far, certainly when playing as the uh, the Western powers, you do need uh, to use combined arms very effectively. Otherwise, you can just get overrun. Okay, so I've got some extra stars now for taking over Alpha Sector. If I put a logistics unit in the forest on Alpha Sector as well, that'll also uh, improve my logistics earning points. Just going to boost my infantry now for the right flank, because I'm going to push forward on the right-hand side. Same thing, I'm going to use some recon units, some grenadiers, and also some power troopers on the right flank. Just push up by a couple of flak panzers on the left. Just for any anti air that might come my way. Oh, sorry, any helicopters that might come my way. Oh, I've got some enemy dug in in those houses in Alpha Sector, though. They can be quite tricky, that um, urban areas. Got to be a bit careful. All right, just going to load these infantry on the right hand side. Green jackets there, powers, and also grenadiers. All right, going to build some more um, anti-air units as well. Some more flak panzers, or maybe even geppards I might use this time. Right, I'm going to push these guys on the right flank into the bit of forest over there. Supported by chieftain tanks a little bit further on the left from them. Okay, so the enemy's still got uh, units in the... Uh, in the town there, in Alpha Sector, I need to take those out really, but quite quickly. I've also got stuff going on on the right flank as well, so it is getting quite busy, as you can tell. Okay. Okay, aha, uh -huh. so the right flank, okay, they've got helicopters, I better take that out with my flak panzers. I'm thinking wrong, other, other units, such as infantry and uh, tanks and things, in most cases can also take down helicopters but they've got to get stupidly close to do so so it's only best to use that tactic uh, you know, if the enemy helicopters are literally right on top of your position right, I've moved my flak panzer, sorry my uh, panzer grenadiers out into a house uh, give better view of the road going through that town in Alpha as you can see the enemy does love to rush on this level especially tank rushes so that's why you need logistics as well, because you need the supply to keep coming, to rearm, repair, refuel. Thankfully, the Panzer Grenadiers do have a very long range, which is always handy. Okay, now paying attention for a little while to my right flank, just checking everything's okay there. Going to gradually start moving the units on the right flank forward.
as you can see holding on to alpha sector there has basically depleted that supply out already completely so i'm going to back that up with a chinook in a moment but now i can push my units in alpha forward Okay, so then he's got some BMPs near the supply yard on the uh, on the right flank. I need to take those out because although they're not heavily armed or armoured, they do have anti-tank missiles, which uh, have a very accurate and deadly long range. Got to be careful with those. Okay, well, I'm happy that uh, Alpha Sector is completely secure now, so I can concentrate mainly on the uh, on the right flank. Although I'm going to bring up some extra units, some extra Panzer Grenadiers, and also supply units because, like I say, the supply yard is completely out of supply. So I'm going to bring up a load of trucks because the enemy is still going to try and rush my position. Okay, so the right flank supply yard is now mine, that's good. Uh, okay, I spotted, I believe, um, some enemy trucks on the right hand side, so that's not a problem. T-72s now, okay, T-72s are the best enemy tanks in this level. They are pretty good, uh, they can definitely, definitely a threat for my tanks, for sure. Yeah, it's definitely a thing in this game as well. Uh, some of the uh, later Soviet armour is actually pretty darn good, so uh, it's, it's, it's a mistake if you underestimate it, especially when they back it up with so many numbers of other uh, not-so-good tanks, but, you know, en masse, a huge tank rush uh, <laughs> can give you a very, very bad day very quickly. So I've just got to use my, my grenadiers here, forward here to take out that T-72, which I've done. Oh, I'm going to send my chieftains forward on these against these tanks here. A couple of T-62s and also... I believe that was a T-72 maybe? Okay, T-62. Okay. So the T-62 is routing. The Soviets in this game as well do have a vast range of tank types. Way more than NATO has. Way, way more. So, got to be careful. Okay, it's time now to start pushing up more on the right flank. Uh, there we go, enemy recon unit. I believe that was coming down the road. I better take care of that. Push up my logistics units as well, because as I said, um, logistics is critical in this game. Right, okay. Uh, there's my two squads of chieftains I brought up earlier. Defend the, defend the central location. Uh, so eight of those versus T-55s. Yeah, I got that nailed. Uh, some watch shots and infantry on the forest on the right there. So those are gone. As I say, you definitely need combined arms on this game. Okay, now it's time to push up the centre. I'm closing in now on Bravo as well uh, because I want to take that objective before going for Charlie, just because there's extra stars that I will need for later on. Get some better units. And they're still trying to tank rush me on the left hand side by Alpha section, so I'm going to bring up some more tanks and have them on the uh, left flank of Alpha there.
Okay, closing in on Alpha. Okay, so they've got a recon helicopter. I'm going to have to bring that down. Oh, need, uh, the recon helicopter keeps doing. Ah, there we go. Some enemy units in the bush line there as well. So I take those tanks out with my infantry. Yeah, definitely a big thing on this game to do well where possible is try and move your infantry troops, whatever whatever they are, regardless of what they are, from cover to cover. Uh, if, if they're exposed and they get spotted, enemy tank will take them all out in one go. So it's best to try and keep them covered where possible, or even in buildings, whichever. I mean, even now the, the level is turning big time in my favour. They're still trying to rush me. They're still trying to put up a fight. Uh, even down the centre as well. Going to have to push my tanks forward. Got some leopards there and also some chieftains in the bush. I'm going to close in take down that uh, recon helicopter. I'm also going to build some logistics units as well because some of my units will be running out of ammunition and things now. It's always best as well to try and use infantry uh, to go into towns first because uh, enemy ve your vehicles can get taken out very easily if you uh, try and send them in there. Okay, I'm going to send some units up to the uh, supply vehicles there because I can take those. Just need to clear this zone here on Bravo section. Okay, your tank's gone there. Okay, now it's just uh, the logistics unit. Okay, so Bravo zone's cleared. So if I want, I can move in uh, one of my own uh, logistics units to capture it, but. Uh, for the time being, actually, I think I'm just going to push forward now onto Charlie. Okay, they've got a collection of units as well to take out. They've got um, a lot of helicopters, I believe, and probably some armor. So I'm going to have to use a combination myself of armor and anti air units. Just pulling back uh, my units in the center there because they're coming at me with their helicopters and also tanks at the same time. So on paper, my units overall are better individually, uh, but they do have a quite a lot of them. That's the problem. The uh, the Soviets do like to use quant quantity over quality a lot of the time. All right, trying to push my units forward, my flak panzers in particular, but they're getting shot by tanks, I believe. So I'm going to have to uh, move up some tanks as well. Right, looking at this, I think it's looking like I'm probably going to have to rush Charlie's section altogether. And I don't like rushing um, on this level just because the, the, the NATO units aren't really made for, for mad, mad rushes like that. Because uh, NATO does tend to be outnumbered. And I don't want to lose a lot of quality units either just because uh, to take the final objective. Okay, I believe, okay, so it's three units left maybe, I think they have, yeah. Got some tanks in there, going to have to send my tanks up. Okay, there's one more leopards getting into the fight now. And they've got some helicopters as well. Uh, but like I say, my tanks have to get in very, very close if they want a chance against helicopters. So I need to move up some flak panzers or um, anti-air infantry. Oh, one of my leopards for sure has definitely been killed there. Uh, there's my flak panzer on the go. Right then, so it should now literally just be a case of capturing Objective Charlie, and that should be the level done. So I've just got to move up the uh, relevant unit that can capture it, and we are all good. But even then, you've got to be careful because the enemy does like to have nasty surprises sometimes. You think everywhere is nice and clear, and there'll be something hiding in, in a forest somewhere or whatever just to take out uh, your remaining unit. So just in case, I'm going to move up some of the units as well, just to be sure. 
including my logistics units to rearm and resupply, as well as repair uh, some of my units already at the front. See the bottom of the screen there, there is my logistics unit to capture moving up at the moment. Okay, so those units have been rearmed and repaired uh, by my Chinook. So my unit capture is moving up as well, so that should be in place anytime soon. Yeah, around about now, really. Okay, there we have it, and the objective is complete. Also, as well, uh, on hindsight, playing the video back later, I realised I probably speed the video up a little bit more than I would have liked. So I apologise if it's a little bit too quick at times. Um, Okay, so the mission is complete. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Please give me a like, a subscribe, drop a comment at all as well about the type of RTS assimilation games you like to play, or if you've got any particular suggestions that maybe you would like to see me play on your behalf. Thank you very much indeed.